Hello YouTube, welcome to the Aquatic Moths channel. I'm Aquatic Mom. welcome to my fish room. Today's video is going to be about harvesting mosquito larvae for fish food. And I happen to have a mature culture, if you will, here with plenty of adult mosquitoes flying around in there that I have to kill. Anyways, let's jump right on to it. Before we begin, I do want to mention guys, please do this at your own risk. You could potentially add a parasite to your stock that could kill off your entire stock. I've been doing this for many years now. I haven't had any issues, but please, if you're going to copy this, do it at your own risk. So, as most of you know, I live in Florida, and one of the biggest pests that we have during this time of the year are mosquitoes. One of the easiest ways to make a mosquito larva culture is to just leave old tank water, the dirtiest as possible, and just let it sit outside and the mosquitoes will do their thing in there. They'll lay their eggs. Two to three days later, they'll turn into these larvae, and then about five days after that, they turn into mosquitoes. So step one is pretty easy. Just leave a bucket or container out with old fish tank water in a shaded area away from pesticides or any deadly fumes like paint, gasoline, etc. Next, we're going to take our culture and we're going to pour it through a net. We're trying to get as much of the debris out of the bucket as possible so we have a nice clean culture to pull from. I like to also rinse it out a couple of times with another bucket of old fish tank water. Now I repeat the rinse process at least two times before I add my collection into the final container which is full of uncontaminated fish tank water. Now this fish tank water has been sitting in my house for quite some time. It's at room temperature. It's a little bit cooler than what the larvae are used to, which is fine. Um, I just go ahead and I dump them in there. You can see I still have plenty of debris in there. But I noticed in the bucket I still had quite a bit of larva left so I went ahead and did a second process. I added the brine shrimp net to my original net. I wanted to get a little bit more of that debris out of my original culture as well. And I wanted to collect um, some more larva that was down at the bottom. And I did this process a couple of times, rinsing the cultures out, trying to get as much of that big debris out. But you do want to keep a small layer of mulm at the bottom just so that the larvae have something to munch on. They will continue their pupating process or stage um, to become mosquitoes regardless if you have any mulm at the bottom or not. But I like to keep it in there. I feel like they last a little bit longer. You have about five days to use this culture. So it's good to collect as many different types of larvae as you can. So this is one of my newer cultures. You'll see many different types of larvae in here. I don't just feed mosquito larvae. Bettas will eat lake fly larvae, beetle larvae, pretty much anything that wiggles around in the water. And um, I also feed this to my endlers and also the licorice garamis. I still have those guys. Pretty much anybody who is an insectivore really loves anything that comes out of the mosquito larva cultures. And the way I feed my cultures, I just siphon out whatever larva I can. I put it into a glass container. That container gets rinsed out and they are put through the brine shrimp net and I just pour some tank water into the container and then I feed. It's pretty easy. It sounds like a lot but it's a pretty easy basic process and it helps ensure that the larvae are wiggling, active, and entice the fry to eat them or any other fish that I'm trying to feed. 
Now I did try another method which was freezing some mosquito larvae and I gotta say that didn't work out too well unfortunately but um, I find that if they're not wiggling as far as the larva goes nothing really wants to eat them not the adult fish not the fry especially so I try to collect the fresh guys as much as possible as I can during this time of the year and basically a culture like this like I said you have up to maybe five days depending on how small of the larva you collect this culture for instance um, you can see that there's a lot of tiny guys in there and I left a lot of mom for them to munch on I don't really need to do anything as far as feeding them that little amount of mom is enough for that larva to last quite a bit when you're getting the larger mosquito larva you do have to be careful their pupating stages um, is around five days you got a little wiggle room there but that's not guaranteed depending on the temperatures and such uh, you could end up with a whole bunch of mosquitoes the next day so this is the perfect environment for mosquito larva you have your mom at the bottom or what we call mom which is just basically the decaying matter of plants, um, possibly insects, all types of good yummy stuff for mosquito larva. And we have this one right here that's about to pupate into a mosquito. Then you have the younger larva down here, the little skinny sticks. And then you also have these very lovely white worms. I'm going to see if I can focus on them. We all know that I suck on zooming in on things thank you so much for watching my video if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and gently ding that like button as well for me and also put on that notification bell Check me out on Instagram too. I add a video and a photo like every single day. Follow me at Aquatic Mama. And also, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.